That's good because I'm mixing in my cream cheese. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and you may have seen on my channel that we proved that if I take a fiber supplement before I drink a whole freaking milkshake, that that supplement improves my metabolism. Remarkable, but I wanna know if this works with real food, not a supplement. So we're trying this with chia, which is basically mother nature's supplement. Does eating chia with a bunch of carbs help me handle said bunch of carbs better? And what do I mean by handle? Well, I'm wearing Level's continuous glucose monitor, which lets us see my blood sugar in real time. So if I eat a food and get a really big spike, that means that food is getting me closer to obesity, diabetes, heart disease, a bunch of health problems, inflammation, a messed up metabolism. We don't want that. We want a nice and low and level blood sugar graph. So will Chia get us closer to that nice level graph? Let's find out. Christine helped with the last fiber video. I always want to get as much data as possible. Two bodies showing what happened. So will you join me for this one? Duh. She knows she's in because I brought her to a bakery. You get to pick the carby thing that we're having. What is it? There's so many, but I'm gonna go with a bagel. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. I had to stop and get some vegan cream cheese, too. Technically, adding fat to carbs will blunt a spike, but I feel like bagel and cream cheese is still gonna be spike enough to get us some science. As long as I put cream cheese on both, it will be a controlled study. Well, this is one of two tests because we have to show you what a bagel does to our blood sugar just by itself. Or a bunch of cream cheese. Yes, we're adding cream cheese. But the idea is that we'll do this, and then we'll do this again, but with cheese. I'm having sesame bagel. Sesame, number one. Everything, number two. And what about people that order plain? Sociopath. What? Don't also. listen to her. I'm a normal, well-balanced individual. It's also the same people who put on read receipt. Ew. Same kind of person that measures exactly how much vegan. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna slop this on. It's one. A beef. One schlop. Yes. Precisely measured. Right. 30 grams is one serving. Psycho. Eat your carbs. Ooh, this is great. So we have to mark in the app when we ate this so we can see how our metabolism does. Oh my god, if I'm not allowed to eat bagels anymore. I'm just not gonna listen. So like I was saying in the grocery store, if you have some other things with your carbs, it will help blunt the spike. You do want to have a mixed meal. It isn't smart to just eat a bunch of carbs all at once. But of course, we're doing this for science. Another way to blunt a spike is to walk after, so we will not be doing anything, zero activity, while this metabolizes for two hours. I thought about only doing half a bagel, but whatever. This is a lot. This is just me expressing my anxiety over what spike I think I'm about to get. We've done, I feel like, worse things, like donuts and cake. It's totally worse. Yes, but it's only ever for a video. Uh, my usual day to day, I never have this crazy load. Most days, I have a bagel, but it's like this weird new bagel that has 20 grams of protein and 33 grams of fiber. That's not real food. It's what? gotta be. It's made out of Amazon boxes discarded. <laughs> we should compare that to a regular to bagel. To a regular. That would yeah. be so good. It's sorcery or it's just actual bad for you. Those bagels are still in your body. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Oh, John, can I get another one? Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Time for our scores. First, Levels noticed that I put in bagel and they're like, ew, maybe you should swap that. It shows glucose spikers, potentially a large spike from a bagel. They're comparing a bagel to a donut because people think donuts are sweet, so they must be worse for you, but they're both high carb loads. And then they suggest Maybe sourdough would be good. Actually, I just realized my bagel is sourdough and that's supposed to be better for you. But I think like out of all the breads, yes. if you were to choose, sourdough mm -hmm. would be the better option. And they suggest completely changing and having chia. <laughs> but this is what blew my mind. They're like, oh, there are some low carb or keto bagels, but that shouldn't become a staple in your diet. Didn't you? I don't know what you're <laughs> talking <laughs> about. Most days I have a bagel. But it's like this weird new bagel. They can be a better alternative, but it's ultra processed, so only do it once in a while. <laughs> As is everything. Like, don't eat. Yes, that's a good answer. Anyway, after all that warning, what did you get a score out of one to 10? 10 being the best, one being the worst. Yeah. Well, no, like a five. Seven. Oh, that's really good. Her metabolism is insane. It's also not a perfect 10, you have room to grow. Right, but it's really not bad. <laughs> so so we're proud. Start. Anyway, moving on, we can just... What are you, what'd you get? <laughs> Three. Wow. It's definitely the vegan cream cheese. Get out of here. Stop <laughs> slamming vegans. <laughs> Last time we did this, we had a Bellway supplement right before, and it made a huge difference yeah. for me. This has five grams of fiber, and it's also yeah. really easy to do, and so flavor. Delicious. Yeah. Harshest critic over here, and I'm a big fan. Actually, all their flavors are really good. I know. Even the greens. Yeah, so now they have greens plus fiber double the punch. But it even says on the label, healthy blood sugar levels, and you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. But when you see it on your own yeah. blood and it makes a huge difference, it's like, wow, that's 
That's true. It's not just a little <laughs> infographic. It's really travelable. They make travel packs yeah, so you know you don't have to take Chia with you everywhere. <laughs> so if you want to get your own, get your metabolism moving, there's a special link in the description. The bell I hooked up my pally, so go use that. My favorite part. The eating. Minus the Chia. You're not a Chia fan? I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Chia and water? <laughs> That's what I do every day. It's kind of like a what? weird mud. I love it, but I wouldn't think that anybody else would. <laughs> Can you just do the chia and then I just eat the bagel for moral support? <laughs> no! You're in on the experiment now, we need you! We want exactly one serving. Let me get you some water. Can I just eat these? Soaking them makes me feel fuller. That's part of why I don't want to be full. Okay, now let that all soak in and put it on your car. <laughs> Hold on, I might just want to put it on my bagel. Okay, give me that. Nasty. So you're saying you'd rather have Bellway fiber? Yes. To each their own. And this has 10 grams of fiber, so in one serving is actually double of what you would get in a supplement. So I'll just take two supplements. <laughs> she always has an answer, folks. No, it's great. That's gonna feel weird in your mouth. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Just mix it in my cream cheese. Oh yeah? I'm a big fan. QCs don't taste like anything. Correct. If living forever had a taste, it's chia. Speaking of travel supplements, I have flown with just bags of chia yeah, in the past. Yeah, you definitely have. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, can we just stop at the store? Um, oh wait, I gotta get the exact amount of cream cheese again. Great ingredients. I think this is gonna be my new go-to. <gasps> wow, that's so crazy. I thought I would have to force this upon you and then you would just go back to having supplements. Well, no, chia on a bagel with cream cheese. Okay. <laughs> They're telling me it's healthy. That's true, but Levels is all about it, I think. Well, I think because there's fat in cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And Levels is definitely pro-chia. Although, we've heard good things about basil as opposed to chia and that chia may be full of lectins. So let us know if you want a video about basil versus chia. I bet people haven't even really thought about basil seeds. They act just like chia. They soak up and they have more fiber. Why don't they mix chia and cream cheese and have a chia cream cheese? We're gonna be rich. Edit that out. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Love me some mud water. It just tastes like weird goopy earth. That is so nasty. I did it as a joke in the video when I first went vegan and then I just never stopped joking. <laughs> it's all in your teeth. Anyway, bagel time. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love experiments. No! You inhaled too fast. I missed your last bite. Sorry. <laughs> Snooze you lose. Slightly later, start the clock. Two hours to metabolize. The final results. What did she do to you? I feel like we need to do this again because it didn't work. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it was supposed to be better and it was way worse. It I was gotta... worse? It was definitely supposed to be better. I got a three. I went from a seven to a three. <gasps> so she is not good for you, specifically. I like the texture. <laughs> oh my bagel. Well, I went from a three to a one. I got worse too. What the heck? Yeah. Chia is 130 calories extra on top of the bagel that we already had, and there are 10 more carbs. It's weird that we both did worse. I know. You, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was so ready for this video to be a triumphant, yeah, go eat more fiber from mother nature. Right. Because we usually say that. <laughs> yeah. So I will say, over the long term, eating a lot more fiber from mother nature will help right. your microbiome, and you will have a better glucose response. This just one little test is not a good example. How crazy though, the fiber supplement work. It has five calories with it, so maybe that was the difference. Also, we may have been a little more stressed, maybe right. had a crappier sleep the night before. Your body is so sensitive. I did mention basil before, so we have a friend that owns this company, Zen Basil, and she's talked about how chia gives you inflammation and is actually not good for you and that you should be eating Basil, basil maybe we yeah. should test that. Let's do it. I think that our bad response had something to do with inflammation. I think most people don't even haven't even like heard of basil seeds. I like know. Chia. It's so weird. So let's do it. Okay. Let us know in the comments if you want to see that. And if you want to see the fiber one where it may or may not have worked, we'll put that down there for you. No food is blue. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I have heard that fiber helps improve your metabolism. So today, we're going to test that scientifically. I've got on a Levels Continuous Glucose Monitor, and we're gonna 